This month, the Northampton City Council approved funding for a two-part feasibility study on building a municipal broadband network on first reading Thursday to the cheer of municipal broadband advocates. A municipal broadband community network provides internet and related services to citizens as a utility. It is usually overseen by a publicly accountable institution, such as a local government. The Council's approval of the program doesn't authorize the spending for the project, but gives the Council's blessing for the plan's contents. Funding for the project will be approved or rejected as they are brought forward to the Council through ordinances. We spoke to Northampton IT Director Antonio Pagan to better understand the fiber network proposal and what it would mean for the city. My name is Antonio Pagam. I'm the CIO for the city of Northampton and uh, the Northampton Public Schools. The city of Northampton is looking at a fiber network that will be able to provide um, a gigabit um, bandwidth for every uh, resident and business that is interested to, to, to use our uh, fiber network. It's important to understand uh, that before a network is developed, that is feasible. You know, that is enough customer base to maintain the, cost, the, the operation cost. There is enough um, funding for capital improvement in the future and that the development, the network is serving the goals of the city. We want to promote net neutrality. That's something that is, is, is being uh, talked about in many places, but it's hard to implement. When uh, a municipality owns the network, uh, there is more leverage to ensure that that happens. All the thing is there are populations in, in, within any municipality that uh, it's hard for them to afford these kind of services. And being owned or developed by the city, it will allow us to, uh, to make it affordable. The city becomes more attractive to people to move in because they have better services, uh, businesses to develop uh, uh, online uh, uh, organizations or, or um, business and institutions. And uh, people will be able to um, really rely on a service that is uh, reliable. Fiber networks have already been introduced in Leverett, Westfield, and South Hadley. East Hampton is also looking into municipal broadband. The first part of the study took place last year, with the second part being set for 2021 and estimated to cost $40,000. Thank you for watching. I'm Shiloh Hammerland with The Transcript.